hey what's up all my aries people you have reached my channel royal revelations and i am bj royal all right so i'm coming to you guys today with a uh weekend reading okay normally i don't do these because my internet situation be acting funny at&t be about to catch it from me so um i know my internet about to be popping though so i want to go ahead and give y'all a little bonus pop up weekend reading from april 23rd today to like what the 26th maybe monday so let's see what's in you guys' energy for all my aries people um this is a general read anybody with aries placement in your chart it may or may not resonate with you or if you were just attracted to this video but um i'm going to first use the egyptian tarot deck which is all major arcanas to get your overall energy for the weekend and um we'll go from there we'll tap into your love energy as well um i'm gonna use the journey into egypt deck to do your reading clarify with the cue cards uh we'll pull some lyrics and y'all are so look every single time y'all just gotta be the eyeball out okay every single time why well, i just needed one card right but i got two okay so i got the high priestess and i got the judgment card okay oh man i feel like and you had the wheel of fortune some kind of karma a wake-up call the secrets out i mean i get some type of confrontation for the weekend april 23rd or the 26th okay let's Get some cards to see what's, what's going on. Some kind of secret or something, some information somebody's been holding on and it like finally comes out and the Wheel of Fortune is here. So I feel like it's definitely karma with the judgment and the Wheel of Fortune because I feel like the High Priestess, she's not really saying anything. She's not really saying anything, but I feel like somebody's been sitting on some information and now they can like, hey, yo, what's up with this? Oh man, let's see. Secrets out. That's how I feel. This high priestess. She ain't really talking, but we gonna see. But I feel like she. I feel like somebody doesn't even have to talk though. I feel like somebody doesn't even have to tell the secret. It's gonna come out regardless. The universe is involved in this. <laughs> Heavy, right? With the judgment and the will. Yeah. I feel like what goes around comes around. Okay, so. What's going on with my Aries for the weekend? You had an eight of cups. <laughs> Somebody is sick and tired. I'm sick of your shit. What else is going on for my Aries? I feel like somebody's trying to leave a situation, but look, I feel like this lady is just sick and tired. Look how she got her hands on her hip. <sighs> All right, look, man. I'm just sick of you know when somebody put their hands on your hip, it's serious, right? I'm sick of it. Okay. Are oh, you going all your shit? Like, I feel like this person had packed their camel up. Some of you guys might smoke camel cigarettes. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like somebody had uh, packed their camel up. And the stuff that they had, you got the seven of wands here. Somebody is trying to be defensive. Somebody's trying to hold somebody back from something. Somebody, look, Prince of the Coins. It's my needy card. Somebody very, very needy. It could definitely be somebody that's needy financially. I feel like this person, how they coming at you, though, with this being all defensive and stuff, like, I feel like this person talks, talks a lot of talk, but they want her to fly. Because, look, look at his pants, right? And then look at that feather he got pointed to her. Like, bro, get that feather out my face. What you gonna do with that feather? They talk a lot of game. They talk a lot of game. Clarify. Give me one more. You have the nine of wands in reverse. You have the six of cups at the bottom. I get a sense of something happened and a lot of people gossiping. A lot of people talking. I feel like you're trying to, somebody's trying to leave, but somebody like stands in their way and they like do this thing like, hey, you know, I need you, don't go or something like that. And it's a lot of people around. 
But I feel like these people are kind of like on the other, or like the person that's like crying out for help. I, I feel like they're not on their side, right? I feel like these people kind of know this person, like how this light is shining on them. Like they know this type of person and they feel like this person is really getting what they deserve. Mm, eight of Cups. <clears throat> the moon in reverse. If y'all dealing with Aquarius, definitely. No, was it Virgo that got this? Yeah, either way. Yeah, when some kind of secret, when this whole thing, the judgment revealed this thing about this person, like, this person tries to leave. Like, this other person tries to leave because I feel like it's just too much gossip, too much conversation. It's just too much. And I feel like somebody has just had it. Clarify the Seven of Wands. You have the Eight of Coins and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person always like, you don't help me. You're not there for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, they st try to stop you. And you can't stop somebody from giving birth, right? So you can't stop them. They can't stop you or you can't stop them. Whatever however the roles play, you reverse them if necessary. Yeah, Ten of Wands, they always start to try to throw this guilt trip on you. Mm, Prince of Coins, clarified. The Six of Cups. It finally came out, but it's in reverse. Yeah, this person feels like, you know what I'm saying, they are deep-rooted. I feel like they're deep-rooted in your past. And they and you guys might have tri chil actual children together. But I feel like this person is very needy, very childish. And every time you get to a point where you want to move on from this, like, they throw a fit. I feel like this person is literally, somebody's throwing a fit. Goodness. Clarify the nine of wands. Okay, this one wanted to come out too. So you have the death card at the bottom. I'm telling you, this is something, this exposure of this person is secret. It just changes everything. You have the judgment came out, the judgment in reverse. You have the prince of wands in the reverse and the prince of cups. I get a very immature person. And you remember I told you it's like a lot of people are involved in this. Like this might be some type of affair um, with the judgment card. And this day, this is kind of like my ladies man. He always got to have two women kind of situation. But it's in reverse. And with the Prince of Wands here, I feel like somebody is tired of um, just working on something, studying something, and somebody kind of want to go from this Prince of Wands where they're always kind of like tied down in this room to being free and to exploring and to just living. But they've been kind of caught up in this whole situation and, and they want to leave. I can understand that. Clarify this Eight of Cups in the moon. Okay, setter, setter. Whatever will be, will be. I'm telling you, so it's like they this cannot be stopped. This cannot be stopped. The next 72, this is something that's going to just, it's just going to happen. I'm telling y'all. Clarify the seven of wands, the queen of wands, and this eight of coins. That's in reverse. big deal well i tell you they're gonna they're putting on the show they're trying to make it seem like no don't go it's like and then they know what to say to you bullseye to hit your buttons they know what buttons to press you know what i'm saying but i feel like somebody is completely over it like they're not hearing it clarify the prince of coins and the six of cups in reverse prince of coins and the six of cups in reverse from 72 next 72 Foolish. You can take this two ways. You can take it like, oh, it's the fool. Somebody having a new freedom, but somebody real feeling real stupid, real foolish. And they want to mend a relationship. Look at the bottom. All right. Clarify these cards over here. The nine of wands. Okay. Okay. Wait. Take a look at yourself. I'm going to get two more. One more. One more. Take a look at yourself in love. Jackpot. Somebody hit the jackpot. Literally, somebody like, somebody know they hit the jackpot. And somebody is trying to like, um, 
I feel like take a look at yourself and love is like self-love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this energy with this person and how they do is like, I feel like somebody feels like they're trapped. They've tried to move on for a long time. And I feel like this is your way out, right? The high priestess always has the key. It's like she has your way out, but you didn't have it in your possession. Now that you have it in your possession, I feel like you can leave. Mm. All right, let's clear this. Let's clear this. Leave this person alone. Lee. I don't know what y'all doing. But, mm, juicy. But it's a big change with this death card here. And look what's after it. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is a big change. This is a, a big realization. A big everything. This changes everything, actually. All right, let me pull some lyrics. Let's get your overall love energy. We're going to get to, okay. Hopefully, I don't get the same lyrics that you had in your um, other read that I just recorded like yesterday. Give me two for my Aries. So, we got one. It says, Pharrell Williams featuring Jay-Z fronting. I know that I'm carrying on acting a complete donkey and a fool. Never mind if I'm showing off. I was just fronting. You know I want you, babe. I'm ready to bet it all unless you don't care at all. But you know I want you. You should stop fronting, babe. Hey, they fronting because they know they done did all this shit, bro. They fronting. Ooh, they fronting. They putting on a show, okay? Academy Award. What, what, uh, what your girl say? Um, a round of applause, standing ovation. Who is it? Um, I cannot think of her name. Uh, Rihanna. Yeah, standing ovation. Yeah, okay. And then, mm, catch a call. I should have cheated. I might as well have cheated on you as much as you accuse me of cheating. I might as well have lied to you as much as you accuse me of lying. I might as well have gone to the club as much as you accuse me of clubbing. Come on now, come through, spirit. <laughs> for real, spirit coming through for y'all. So you got front end, you know what I'm saying? Other person like, I know you front. You know, I should have cheated. I was out here being faithful to you, doing all this mess shit. I should have been out here doing my own thing, okay? Tell me about the next 72. I'm about to use life as like a board game. Tarot. Y'all got me lit. I love it, Aries. Fire energy. I feel it. I feel the energy. You know what I'm saying? Clarify. Let's see what's going on. Give me some cards for my Aries. Next 72. In love. Page of Wands. Development of news and enthusiasm. The Queen of Cups, supporter of compassion and intuitive uh, feelings. The Six of Cups, nostalgia place. I get a sense of somebody just wanting to be somewhere else. Somebody from their past. I get somebody having some kind of regrets, especially with this. It landed on Keisha Cole. I should have cheated. Then you have the Four of Swords in reverse, restful, soul, restful solitude way. And then you have the Star card, Aquarius energy. Oh, okay. I feel like somebody tells somebody here, like, hey, I, I don't I don't want to be with you no more. And that's why this person is like, you know, you stop fronting. I know I was showing off. I was carrying on. But, you know, I, I want you. You know what I'm saying? And this other person is like, no, I should have cheated. I, I, I can't. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of fighting with the five of wands, the conflict, um, gardens in reverse. And I feel like somebody... I feel like this, and for some of you guys who believe in it or whatever the case may be, I don't really, I can't say I don't believe in karmic relationships or somebody dealing with a karmic, I mean, I, I don't know how I really feel about that, um, but I do feel like people um, don't get closure and they do stupid shit and they can't let go of their past and um, they fuck up the person that they felt like they should have been with a long time ago you know what i'm saying and they couldn't because they kept dealing with a person that was manipulative vindictive you know what i'm saying that was um trying to hold them back from life and so now you know this person realizes with the six of cups upright and restful solitude way in reverse the four swords in reverse like somebody i feel like somebody will be moving towards somebody else who they really feel like is a is like a star like they feel like it's they're the one like literally the one it's only one star up here right clarify the page of wands you have king of pentacles 
mm, provider of power, prosperity and power. Yes, yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody is telling somebody like, I'm taking all my power back. You don't deserve my stability, how I am. You have the three of pentacles here, collaborative avenue. Yeah, I feel like this person now all of a sudden they want to collaborate, but I feel like they've been collaborating with other people as well. But all of a sudden now they want to damn collaborate. Clarify um, the six of cups. The ten of swords. What did I say? Somebody regretted something that they did in the past. Heavy. Heavy. Knight of Wands. Messenger of acting first and thinking later. This could be something that they did in the past. Somebody that they fucked over in the past or something and they want to go back or somebody wants to come back. Clarify the Four of Swords. And it might have been with this person. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. Not interested way. But I feel like this person, some of you guys, like if you have the idea of after you're done with this situation to try to go deal with somebody else, I really don't feel like um, you might have to um, work a little hard because this person is not going to be that um, enthusiastic about seeing you. <laughs> Clarify the star card. It's like, uh, it's not interested when it's upright, like, but I, I really feel like it's a strong, not inter interested and not the complete opposite of the card. And you have, um, the star card and the four of pentacles holding on tight Avenue. Somebody doesn't want to let somebody go and they want to start new with somebody else with the ace of pentacles starting stable Avenue. And I think that wraps it up. Did y'all follow me along? If not, just rewind it, bro. Because I said a lot. I know I said a lot. But from the list of things, I feel like somebody might be separating or something might come to the light. Somebody might try to go back to their past. And this person might not be, you know, very happy to see you. But this person can't let somebody go. Somebody can't let somebody go. And they want to start fresh with somebody else. They should have cheated. And the other person front end. Okay, let me quit, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much for stopping by. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, holla at a player when you see me in Street Pimp. Bye.